The Ramones, Bobby Talking Heads, Yankees, Mets, Giants, Jets, L I E G W B, F T R and the B Q E. Bus stops, taxi drivers walk up and high rises, Baker Street and Mulberry and Staten Island Ferry, Rikers Island, Wall Street, Mama Lady Liberty, Park So Brooklyn Heights. Oh, welcome to the Vinny Vela Show again yeah. tonight. Hey, darling. Got a couple of new faces in the audience tonight. That's okay. That's all right. I always like new faces. And uh, but we got a hell of a show again. And uh, as you remember, uh, last week I had mentioned that uh, two of our girls, two of my girls, uh, are always straightening out their paperwork. Uh, one is um, mm -hmm. Lucy yes. from the UK, uh, yep. and Irene, Irene from Ukraine. Ukraine. That could get a little tongue tie use. right there. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. So um, Emily and uh, Stephanie mm -hmm. are taking their places. Yeah, lucky us. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl time. Uh, yeah. 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 I think um, lucky us. We can yeah. join you guys. See? We're the lucky ones, Steph and I. We get to join no, we're luckier. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we are. No, really. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's right. And it's uh, a pleasure to have them both on the show. I mean, I, I always, well, I used to have one. Mm -hmm. Then I had two. Mm -hmm. I he goes, maybe, uh... <laughs> maybe, maybe it's because I'm a heavyweight. I need four of them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Don't get no ideas. <laughs> she, she, she's looking at me with a smile on her face from ear to ear. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not picking any. Am I? No. Okay. She can handle um, But anyway, tonight we have a hell of a show. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, and so their names, naturally, Stephanie and Emily. And then we got Autumn and Carissa. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Um, you know, we, we, a couple of weeks ago we had a, a, a show on, we were talking about topics. Right. I, was, I know, but I wasn't here. That's right. That's like the only show I've ever missed. I never miss shows. That's right. You never missed a show. No, and I missed it. And you it missed was two fun. Shows, right? I did. And you yeah. know what I must say? So on Facebook and everything, everyone, you know we all take pictures, and I felt like I missed a good time. Oh. Like I, I know, know it's a good time when I'm always here, but like I was like a little upset about it. Well, just because I was not that I was left out, because I wasn't left out, but I just wasn't there. Well, I, I know and exactly how you felt. Because when oh. you were in here, yes. it wasn't the same. Oh. It wasn't the same. And uh, um Carissa has been with me f the longest out of yeah, all. Yeah, it'll, it? it'll be two years. Yeah. Wow. It's going to be two, bring on two years in our relationship. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a commitment. Yeah. Even though she's getting married soon, we're not going to talk, <laughs> yeah. yeah. talk about that. Even though even though she's getting married soon, we're not going to talk about that. But uh, hey, you're happy for me. We're good. What'd you say? Am I ha happy, I'm happy for, for you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. He's warned me about marriage. It's I okay. Know. It's all right. Yeah. It, you always told me aside and said, Chris, I really think about this. I can, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. You know, between who's married, who's got a girlfriend, who, uh, I mean, a boyfriend, a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, that happened once before I had, uh, I had four girls on my show. This is the God's Honest Truth. And I, I asked each and every one of them questions. And the girl at the end wasn't saying very much. I says, you don't seem to be talking very much. I said, and how's your relationship? Do you have a, are you like this with your boyfriend? She goes, I don't have a boyfriend. I said, no. She goes, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> so the look that I had on my face, everybody started laughing. And I looked at her and I said, honey, don't mind them. Some like to swing on a tree. Some like to jump yeah. in a bush. <laughs> Do whatever makes you happy. You know? so, uh, so she was all right with that. You know, She wasn't insulted by that. No. <laughs> yeah. Teddy dog, yeah. <laughs> Not you, me. Uh, all right, but anyway, tonight. So we have this guy on, and I met him through some friends, oh right. God, a couple of months ago. Right, yeah. Usually how and, it goes. Uh, I'm sorry? That's usually how it goes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this guy sent me his tape, and um, I'll tell you, you know, listening to his music, not often does it happen. But when he was saying, he put me in that mood. Which okay. mood? Which one? What mood? <laughs> what you mean to walk out with that yes. mood? You know, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Jeff you know, he yeah. put me in that mood. And I told him, 
And he said, I'm going to sing it again for you. <laughs> I said, oh, man. <laughs> so um, when he starts to sing, you know, you do, you t just push your chairs a little bit more that way. I'm only joking. Uh, but anyway. And he's trouble because his eyes, his eyes twinkle. Your uh -huh. eyes twinkle, his eyes twinkle. Yes. Yep. Well, what are you trying to tell me? Ooh. That's all I'm saying. That's you twinkle, twinkle and he twinkles. Wait, my eyes <laughs> shrink when I look at you guys. Uh -huh. oh, all right, all right. We should anyway. have the same effect on him right now. He's twinkling. I want to introduce him. I want to introduce him. And he's not only a, a friend, but he's also a great entertainer. And, uh, but we'll talk about that more when he sits down. But please, give him a nice hand. Larry Costa. comes back to me just like the flame of some forgotten melody in the album of my memories serenade blue it seems like only yesterday A small cafe, a crowded floor And as we dance the night away I hear you say forevermore And when a song became a sigh Forevermore became goodbye But you remain in my heart so tell me, darling, is there still a spark or only lonely ashes of a flame we knew? Should I go on whistling in the dark? Serenade In blue Thank you very much. There's a, another lovely song coming up right now, and everyone knows this song, but they don't know it from me. <laughs> but they soon will. I see trees of green, red roses too, I've seen them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue, clouds of white, bright blessed days, dark sacred nights. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world The colors of the rainbow So pretty in the sky And also on the faces Of people going by I see 
friends shaking hands saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I've heard babies cry. I've watched them grow. They'll learn so much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Thank you very much. That's a popular song. <laughs> we have another lovely for you. Goodbye. No use leading with our chins. This is where the story ends. Never lovers. Always friends. Goodbye. Let our hearts call it a day. But before you walk away, I sincerely want to say. I give you bluebirds in the spring to give your heart a song to sing and then a kiss but more than this I give you love and in July, a lemonade to keep you cool on a leafy glade. And most of all, when snowflakes fall, I wish you love. This breaking home and I agree that you and I could never be so with my best my very best I set you free I wish you shelter from the storm Cozy fire to keep you warm, and most of all, when snowflakes fall, I wish you love. A lemonade will keep you cool on a leafy glade. But most of all, when snowflakes fall, I wish you Barry, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh. I have to kiss every one of them. Oh, please. Oh. 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 See you again. Go right around the table. Up. Up. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Oh.
for women. How about that? Well, I, have to, I, have to, I have to tell you right now, Vinny, you have been such an inspiration to me. You have no idea. I'm singing, everyone, because of Vinny Bella. Yeah, he doesn't know this. Really? Vinny doesn't know this. Thank yeah. you so much. I've, I've decided to sing professionally uh, okay. because of Vinny Bella, but I have sung in the past, uh, yeah. different type mm -hmm. of uh, venues and different careers and stuff. But he's such an inspiration to me. He's done so many things in his life. And I think Vinny and I are, are kind of cut from the same cloth. And I think that <laughs> don't you agree? Yeah. I, we really are. We we have one. We you know we we have that relish for life. We yes. we okay, relish yes. it. Yeah. 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 So he's my inspiration. You that's, heard it. That's amazing. Oh, that that's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Really uh -huh. And welcome. thank you for having me here. Well, this is great. It was my pleasure. And when I first heard your tapes, and this ain't no lie, sounds like a joke, but if anyone was near me. When I heard, when I heard, it would have been a little trouble. You put, you put me right that moment. Uh, thank you so much. I was ready to go out and get a hook I'm only joking. Thank you so much. Well, you know, my, my songs tell a story. Right. And in each song, you know, the, the lyrics are there and they're written, and they're written so that the listener has the story is spelled out for them. But it takes somebody who could understand those lyrics yes. to deliver them in a way so that the meaning is there for the listener to actually hear. The melody might be nice, but the words actually mean something. Well, I knew every song that you were singing. Though. Yeah, yes. And I asked them, they were? They don't know. Well, I mean, the middle one. Yeah. The middle one, yeah. everyone knows that knows one, yeah. But the other songs, you know, it's really amazing, like when I go out to nightclubs and I sing, uh, people do ask me, that's great. When did you write that? And I'm like, well, 1932. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You aged so well. <laughs> I aged so well. Yeah. I aged so well. <laughs> well you did so yeah. uh, uh, I'm actually it, a chemist. Is it a younger yeah. generation? I am. I'm a chemist oh, a and I create skin care. I have snake venom on my face. <laughs> you have what? Snake venom. You have really? snake venom yeah, where? Yeah, on my face. Hairline? Yeah, it, it works you like. It, I put it on there. It, oh, it works like a venom? topical Botox. Yeah. No, it's Do you have any more of this stuff? I have gallons. Wait, excuse me, are you serious? Oh, yes, absolutely. I'm a chemist. I create skincare items and so. He's smiling like he's lying, but he's telling the truth. It's true. It's true. I'm a chemist from the 1930s and I created this. I created this. I have I have a question. Is there any place else you can put this steak venom? Not if you want it to work. It paralyzes things. Not if you want it to work. Well, we gotta talk about this snake venom. Okay. Oh man. I've seen you a couple times. I know you come to in the audience, which people may or may not realize because we do have a lot of familiar faces, which is nice. But even seeing you tonight, I've well, first of all, I've been looking forward to seeing you. Oh, and then secondly, you. then I saw you and I'm like, yes, that's why I remember liking you so much. Like every time I see you, I'm like, yes, I like him. <laughs> every time. I just think you're great. You're I think you have one of my CDs, yeah. don't you? I do. You do. I do, I do. I do. Yeah. And I actually just moved and it's still in the box. Uh-oh. I did. I moved the past couple of weeks. But that's uh, not, that's you funny. are important and I'm not. Uh, so we'll talk about you. Well, I'm making a Christmas <laughs> album, so as soon as that's okay, ready, no, I'll send you is, one. And Larry's also going to be on this our uh, Christmas show here. Okay. That's Wait, right. That's right. He's going to do the Christmas show here. That's okay. right. That's something we talked yeah. about. Yeah. And, uh, yes, I'm going to have a lot of here for you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we might even have the show uh, a little bit longer so that you could sing more songs. There we go. Yeah. We need to bring in a tree uh, and, bells. and yeah. boxes jingle with bells. that paper on it. What do they call that paper around the box? Will you sing and we'll drink hot cocoa? Yes. Yes, let's get Aww. drunk and sing yes. Christmas songs. <laughs> I'll have one of I'll have one of these girls come out from yeah, underneath the Christmas yeah. tree oh, in a ribbon and say, Merry Christmas, Vinny. <laughs> well, what about Merry Christmas, Mr. Larry? He's, he's going to dress up like that for you. He's going to dress up like that for you. Well, we'll arrange okay. that. Okay. Yeah. He looks nice. No, looks like you you're going to dress up like that. I'm going to put you in negligee. I love singing. I love singing. It's my passion. How long have you been singing for Like since you were like super little? Like yeah, well, you know, I've always been singing I since I was a kid. Yeah. 
And uh, actually, when I was five years old, I sang with Karen Carpenter on stage. Oh, come on. It was a, yeah, it was kind of weird. Wow. Yeah. I have to ask, was that when was that when you lived in Homosassa? No, well, Where the heck I is lived that? in Homosassa Springs, Florida, oh, Florida, which is on the west coast, almost like out of Florida. Is that so. near yeah, like oh, Port Charlotte, yeah. something like that? In that I don't area? Even know where the hell it is anymore? So by the time you were five, you already lived somewhere else. Yeah, my dad, my father was a uh, security guard, okay. and he used to work at the different venues and stuff around the country. So we used to travel with him at times. Yeah. What place do you feel most like kinship with? It like your home, like where you? My from? home is New York. This is my home. I moved to New York in 1990 with seven dollars. Really? Wow. Seven dollars in my pocket and a 1972 Lincoln Continental. <laughs> that, thing, that thing was seven bigger dollars. than the apartment I have now. <laughs> but wait, how could wait, you moved here with seven dollars in a car? Yes. You didn't have no place to go. No place to live. What nothing. Do you do? What do you do when you get to an, you sleep in the car? Uh, but I was smart, you know. So I went to a bar. What do you do? You ask the bartender, "Hey, any apartments?" So. His girlfriend had an apartment for four hundred dollars a month oh, on Fourteenth yeah. Street. It what? was amazing. Fourteenth Street. Yeah, because you only had seven dollars. And even back then, it was cheap. <laughs> well, the what I do with the seven dollars? You only had seven dollars. <laughs> you're not going to believe this. I used the seven dollars to buy a ticket to see your movie. <laughs> to buy what? To see oh. you in a movie. Oh. Nuh -uh. I don't know. Look at that twinkle. Wait a second. That's the crowd. That's the crowd. <laughs> well, oh, I no. want you to be able to tell everybody I gave you seven dollars. And I'm going to take it, too. It should be eight dollars now with inflation. <laughs> so what did you do? Did you order like a Jack and Coke? Did you have, you know, whiskey? No, I had no drink? money. I couldn't. Uh, nothing. I just, seven dollars is a trick. I don't re really remember what I did with the $7. Yeah. But say. I went to this bar and I asked the bartender, he helped me get that apartment. Yeah. And what was your first job? Like job job, where did you get My it? first job in New York, yeah. I was working in the cafe of Bertolf Goodman. Oh, store. Nice. wow. It was wonderful. Of These people would pay 25 bucks for like a slice of Bread? meatloaf and yeah. it was just yeah. horrible yeah. And, but what I really enjoyed about working there was because all these women would come in with their fur coats and their minks and their full length whatevers yeah. and they would just drape it over the floor and you know and these places are small with, with all these tables so and I'm carrying trays I used to love to walk on those minks they were just there you know and I would go home were they good tippers? Yeah. Yeah. Horrible tippers. Yeah. Horrible tippers. Horrible tippers. Yeah. tippers. I was lucky if I went wow. with $35. Come on, you're yeah. you're handsome too. That's why the rich stay rich and the poor get poor. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So yeah. I need to get I went to like Florida with no money in my pocket, except I, I was going around to Wolfie's 21 and all the restaurants selling tips off the table. Uh, that's a good uh, idea. I'm going to yeah. do that now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <Joking. laughs> you know what you do? Call me when you're ready to go. Yeah. I'll distract them. You get the tips. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll, like, sing. I know, I'll sing. Yeah. I'll sing and dance. Everybody say, hey. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Do you think She ain't talking to me. This girl right there. I said, do you think it'll work? She just turned around on me. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't yeah. matter. That's She's Marilyn in the audience. She yes. was actually one of my models. That's me, right? Uh, I did a, a Larry Costa skincare line. Was it the? It was in the '90s or? No, it was, no. It was 2003. 2003. She was my very first model on the skincare. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Well, we gotta talk about that snake venom. But before we get to that, um, we don't have much more time on the show. I wish we had so much more time. Yeah, me too. You know, I'm I'll, eventually. I think I'm gonna make the show an hour show. Yeah. 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 These half hours just go by too fast. So yeah. I need to get you up there one more time and sing another song. Absolutely. Yeah. Please. Thank Give you. a nice yeah. hand. Thank you. I hope I remember what it is. I can only 
give you love that lasts forever and a promise to be near each time you call and the only heart I own for you and you alone that's all That's all I can only give you country walks in springtime and a hand to hold when leaves begin to fall and a love whose burning life will warm the winter's night that's all that's all there are those I am sure who have told you they would give you the world for a toy all I have are these are I can never destroy If you're wondering what I'm asking in return, dear You'll be glad to know My demands are small Say it's me that you'll adore Thank you. 